I'm First Lieutenant Matthew uh, David Desjardin. I am uh, a First Lieutenant. I am the Air Support Element OIC for Balakatan. For today, my ASC, the Air Support Element, is tasked with uh, airspace control and management for the Sarab airspace. We're co-located with the DASIF, the Filipino counterpart, the Direct Air Support Force, and our main goal is to conduct the proper safety of routing and safety of flight for all aircraft ingressing and egressing uh, to Sarab in order to conduct unit level training and cl uh, close air support. Our, port, our part in uh, Balkatan is to have the major AC2 node, the Aviation Command and Control node for Sarab in order to enable joint and bilateral aircraft to conduct close level training with uh, uh, close air support missions and unit level training. The biggest challenge uh, was site location. The, uh, uh, we are in a valley, Crows Valley itself, and it's uh, very difficult for our communication uh, radio systems to get proper line of sight contact with uh, aircraft coming in and out. But we have mitigated that by uh, placing ourselves at a reasonable distance from uh, above ground so we can have good line of sight over the entire valley. The Filipino Armed Forces, they're very austere and they're very uh, down to earth. Um, the Filipino Armed Forces, they are extremely similar to how the Marine Corps operates, such as fighting and training in a difficult environment. Um, they have the same attitude and they're so hospitable in terms of working with uh, partner, uh, partner nations, especially uh, the United States Marine Corps. For specifically for the air support element, um, it's for us to get with their controllers, their aircraft controllers, and uh, talk on our procedural control methods, which allow us to, one, coordinate what controlling agency can, can handle aircraft at a point in time, and sequence certain events so there's no uh, so there's a, a proper method uh, methodology of aircraft coming in on station, um, getting the proper briefing and safety of flight for their objective, and on the way out so we're all tracking on a safe uh, safe and controlled environment. The 13th MU uh, participated by providing aircraft for both CAS and ASR um, to one conduct um, joint training with uh, both the Filipinos and other Marine Corps agencies. Uh, Marine Corps units and uh, joint forces such as the U.S. Army uh, and the U.S. Air Force. Uh, definitely the heat. The heat is definitely a big thing that we're going to encounter in the Indo-Pacific uh, AO, but overall the Marine Corps has always been fighting in austere environments, so that is something that uh, we'll just easily get over as uh, time goes on. Well, the biggest thing is the language barrier. Uh, fortunately for us, the Filipinos have a very good uh, uh, essay on the English language, So, but for other nations and other countries that we'll work with in the future, it's uh, paramount for us to one, just synchronize or come together, come up with a solid plan and move on forward. It allows us to establish a relationship to foster with the community and the armed forces themselves. Um, by us working together now um, to encounter any sort of threat in the AO, uh, we'll be able to come together, um, already have the TTPs and uh, standard operating procedures set and we'll be able to go off those, uh, those, training and, those trainings uh, and techniques and move on to the fight.